<laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we're going to be creating an awesome summer cocktail from Joaquin Simo. If you don't know who Joaquin Simo is, he was one of the superstar bartenders over at Death & Company. I believe that is where he started his career. And now he has his own bar, or he's like the co-owner of a bar called uh, Pouring Ribbons in New York City. He is an amazing dude. I don't need two of these, so I'm going to put that over there. And uh, this is, people have been asking me for more vodka cocktails. So this is a vodka cocktail that is nice and complex. It is a very, very, very good summer drink. Uh, since we're in those hot months, we might as well just be drinking, you know, like cooler, you know, style drinks, like spritz style drinks, like things that are really going to be awesome in the heat of the summer. So let's get into it. Enough of that jibba jabba. Anyway, it doesn't matter because guess what? There's not that much to say about it. It's a modern day cocktail, something that you could probably find on a menu now. First thing we're gonna do is take a one, two, three uh, raspberries. This calls for raspberry syrup, and if you want to use raspberry syrup, you absolutely can use it, but not everyone's gonna make raspberry syrup, so I'm just gonna do it with some fresh raspberries. That being said, you are gonna want a double strain. And then we're just gonna do one dash. Well, that was a, kind of a poor dash. So just like one-ish dashes of Peychaud's bitters. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Three quarters of an ounce of grapefruit juice. We're using ruby red, because that is the sweeter and more refreshing of the, of the grapefruits. And three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. We're gonna be doing half an ounce of uh, rose lillet. That is the red lillet. And don't worry, yes, we'll be making more drinks with this. So if you go buy a bottle, which you should, you will absolutely be able to use this. But I gotta say, even if I use some, you know, kind of ingredient that's sort of um, not as common, you know, you can just use it as like a, first of all, I will never use a bottle only once on this channel. You will find other cocktails with it. But you can also like use that as a um, way to start, you know, creating your own cocktails and, let, and also building your bar up. You know, when people say like, okay, you made a Chinar cocktail, now I want every Chinar cocktail. It's like, dude, put the Chinar aside. We'll go through some other bottles. And then when we make the next Chinar cocktail, you'll have it in your bar. You know what I'm saying? No real reason to pour it all off all at once. All right, we're going to do one ounce and a half after my long diatribe, scolding you guys, of vodka. You can use your favorite vodka here. I'm using Black Cow because I haven't used it in a while, and I think it's really good. Made from, uh, from whey, which is the byproduct of cheese. Uh, not vegan, but no lactose. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do a little tampy poo down on my raspberries. All right. I'm gonna add some. Oh, I'm gonna add some ice to our glass as well here. Add some ice to our glass. Add some ice to our tin. Maybe I'll add ice here. That's enough shaking ice. Just enough to chill and dilute. You know what I'm saying? Let's give it a shake. There we go. You want to have a nice good lock on your tin. So it should take you a couple times to unlock it. That, may, that way you make sure you don't, get co you don't get cocktail all over you. We're just going to double strain into our glass. Perfect. Perfect. Doesn't that look refreshing? And then, because we like creative garnishes, we're going to do what's called a raspberry flag. So we're going to take a lemon. We're going to sandwich our raspberry in there, and then we're going to use a cocktail pick and just go through it like so. And then we can just place that. Voila! I know some of you don't like it when I, uh, I want to put the, the skull out first. I know you guys don't like it when you, when I have to like rotate it because, but I really like to show you the garnish, you know, it's like, that's a very nice garnish. If I saw this and someone was like, here you go, here's your drink. Here's your, this, by the way, I forgot to mention the name of this drink, actually. This drink is called the Dear Prudence, just so you know. Uh, I did not mention it in the video earlier, but you guys like it. Well, I'm kind of a mess anyway. All right, so here you go. But if someone send, gave that to me, I'd be like, oh, yes, that is very lovely. Let's take a sip and see how lovely it is. Mmm. Oh, man, the depth of flavor is just incredible. You know, it's funny because it, it, it almost tastes kind of wine cooler-ish. You've got a lot of, you know, you've got grapefruit in there, you've got lemon in there, you taste all that. 
balanced out with the sugar. The rosé, Lillet gives it like this um, kind of, it's like a, like a wine sort of vibe to it, you know? You know, it's, it's nice, high, you know, the, 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 the vodka's adding the alcohol to these wonderful flavors. Super, this is what I want to be drinking in the summertime. I, I know I say that every single time I do like a refreshing cocktail, but honestly, this is what I want to be drinking in the summer. Oh man, yes, yes, yes. Well, there you have it, my friends. Joaquin Simo's brilliant cocktail, the Dear Prudence. Go ahead and make it. Get a bottle of this. I promise you there will be more cocktails with it. And until then, my friends, live long and prosper. Did I do that right? Is, is, the, is, is the thumb supposed to be out or in? That, is it like that? Oh yeah, okay, Mary's got it. Thumbs out, thumb out, buddy. Live long and prosper. Yeah, you know I'm like how good a Trekkie I am. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, like and subscribe. And by the way, go to Patreon, sub our Patreon, get the extra content. You know you want to do it. Until then, sayonara, suckers.